Ooh, what is up guys? That is, dude, I got this like swivel mount thing. Ooh, it's kind of sick. Um, what is up guys? So in this video, I want to talk about today, basically the best way um, a beginner should kind of go at Shopify drop shipping um, and kind of what I would do if I were to just restart and kind of just start fresh and uh, knowing what I know now. Right? <laughs> Basically, um, the what, what I what I see a lot of people do when they first start is they're thinking, "Hey, I need to do a general store with a bunch of products so that there's a you know a huge variety, a huge selection of people to choose from, um, so that you know they have a a, a good choice of, of products to to buy from or something." Um, and the the way the way I would do it right is when you start your store, I would start say like a five product store or if you have multiple categories um no more than five products per category and no more than you know 15 products max um, but it's not a general store um and keep it like niched okay so basically um because again i do a lot of my my stores um in the fashion industry the fashion sector um and when when i'm kind of like picking what to sell Usually what, what you'll find with your stores guys is it's one or two products that make a majority of your revenue um, And those are the ones you kind of like got to double down on run, you know fat advertisements towards um, And then use the other ones now basically this is something that it's kind of like a neat psychology check Okay, when you have these like for example if we're doing a five product um, Niche fashion store. Okay, for example if they were all um, I don't know watches or bracelets or something because that's very popular for people to start off selling um if you were just to list five on your site, okay, one or two are probably going to be uh, the main ones that make the most money. Now, to actually leverage that that psychology, like that that factor in itself, I would want you guys to take those two products, right? And when you're displaying them, when you're showing all these other products, the other products that aren't making as much money, you're you're gonna showcase them, you know, next to next to the ones that are making a lot of money, but you're making them, you know, more expensive than the ones that are already driving you a lot of revenue. Um, you're making the, the the one or two main ones look really really good, while the other ones still look good, right? Because obviously they're gonna generate sales, but they're more like they're more there just to push people more towards these one or two prime products um, that are generating you a lot of revenue now. What you do on the back end side of things is after they purchase, you integrate some post purchase upsells um, so that right after they've already bought your product, so they've already like input their confirmation, they've already pressed purchase, they get sent to another page that upsells them saying, hey, you know, um, you can actually get this bracelet for this amount of money because you already purchased product from us, um, something like that just, just to increase your order value um, from that particular customer. Um, and that's that's kind of the way I would go about it. Again, custom content, guys, custom branding. Um, there, there's, there's so much there's so much like noise out there that it gets really confusing when a beginner's first starting off because then, you know, they want to do a general store. They want to have a bunch of products on. Um, they want to just like test out to see which one um, kind of goes, guys. And if the, the only time I would ever start a general store, the only time I'd ever start a general store is if I was going to just experiment a huge variety of products and throw a lot of money into ads, right? Um, and then whichever one starts to bite, whichever one starts to kick off, then I'd make uh, a one or two um, you know, product website, just selling that particular product that's already taking off. Um, that's the only case I'd ever do a general store. Everything else, guys, it's, you know, you brand it, you you use custom content to create like a motion um, and use that to to make it so, to make your, your your store look like a, a legit brand um, and not just, you know, some random website selling, selling one-off stuff. Now, what I'd also do, guys, is look into Pinterest. Now, I haven't even talked about this a lot. Um, but this is something that I've kind of been reading up on. It's like the third most popular social media app in the world, and they haven't even IPO'd yet, guys. So I think Pinterest is being slept on a lot, and I'm gonna start making more content into it. I'm already looking into it. I'm already testing advertisements on it, um, just to kind of like learn learn the space, right? Um, and even in the course, I'm gonna make make a few videos on that. But I think Pinterest is being slept on, guys. And again, if you're doing custom content, if you're doing custom branding, then Pinterest is a no brainer because all Pinterest is is just a bunch of images, and th there's some some words and whatnot. But it, it's it's primarily a visual content platform, um, which I think again, if if you do this right, guys, if you go about starting you know a store properly and you're leveraging Pinterest and you're doing your custom content, custom branding, all this kind of stuff, you'll have no problem generating sales, guys. Um, you know, 100, 300, 500, 1,000 a day is, is very, very doable just going off of what I'm saying now and using that and just doing simple marketing. Um, 
you know, scaling upwards of, you know, one, two, three, four K, five K days. Um, that again, requires a few more advanced tactics. But again, this, this video is aimed for, for beginners who are just trying to get started that want like a, a surefire way to at least make some money drop shipping. And that's what I'm trying to do with this video is kind of just show you guys like, okay, if I was to restart, this is what I would do. And to recap, it's Shopify store, five products in the relatively same niche. Okay. One or two are probably gonna make your most money and you should already do product research to know which one or two are probably going to make the most. Right. And then you position the other products, um, just to create a sort of like authority figure in your store where those two products are positioned higher than the other ones, where people are already leaning towards those other two, but like, okay, these ones are this amount of money. They don't look that good, but this one, Oh, this one's only low at 20 bucks. Okay. I'll buy this one. Um, you know, stuff like that, just, just to position your, your store and your products better guys. It's like a little, um, a little like psychology. Um, and then again with the upsells guys. So after they purchase a product, um, then you're gonna be sending them to an upsell page to actually upsell those other products that they were considering that, you know, were a little bit more expensive or something like that. Um, and sell them really, really cheap just to increase your order value. Um, which you guys, which you guys would just make more money off of. Okay guys. So again, just a very, very quick video kind of giving my thoughts on like, if, like, like how, how a beginner um, should start if they were going to start right now and how I would probably go about doing that if, you know, if I was restarting now. And um, yeah, guys, I mean, that's just a quick video I wanted to make um, just because I get a lot of people asking, you know, hey, I'm trying to start right now. Like, what should I do? Like, I have no idea what to do um, or just where to start. So I hope this video helps those um, that were looking for that. Um, you know, leave a like, drop a comment. Fun, uh, I respond to everybody's comments. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. We're doing a video a day. Um, Again, there's the documentary that I have in the works for the Shopify zero to one K challenge um, and upwards of more right now. It's probably gonna be actually more than one K um, just because of the way I'm marketing it, which I'm excited to show you guys about. Um, but yeah, so that documentary will release when it's done here shortly um, on YouTube. And then for those of you that are very, very serious about job serving, the link down below is in there for the course. Um, and just for a bunch of other information, there's the free Facebook group, all that kind of stuff um, just to help you guys out. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. And I'll catch you later. Deuces. Shout out to Red Bull. <laughs>